Hey everyone, this is Mother from Technetia Studios here for part 4 of my video series. So, today I'm continuing the part for, uh, to the part 4 of my video series that is Adobe Premiere Pro Basics. So, today what I would be teaching you is um, video transition effects in Premiere Pro. So, let's get right inside. So first of all, you need to know what transitions are. So transitions are like the effects that are used to go from one video to other. That is to switch from one clip to other or you can say like switching from one track to other. So let's drag and drop these two tracks into this, um, uh, these two clips into a single track. Let's change the sequence settings. And yeah, that's introductory so let's insert after effects in it. So you see now we have two of these um, clips. Let's mute them both. It's where that? Yeah, we have muted this track so it would not play up. So basically, what we need to do is like you see now when we like play this, it just goes from directly from one to another. So we need to add that effect like changing from different like basically all of the effects are similar to add but they do different things like they are similar to do editing in that like basically like time settings and doing settings inside that so when you need to go to uh, like uh, insert video transitions just go to effects in the lower menu uh, in the effects tabs then go to the video transitions menu and then you have these uh, many categories like 3d motion dissolve iris map page peel slide special effects uh, like stretch wipe and zoom so you can choose any of those cause like all of them are basically lib almost similar to each other in like settings um, preferences so let's go to like slide let's let's I'll show you about slides so let's see which type of slide do we want or let's take yeah we can take simple slide and when you drag and drop it like you can um, in that one you can like drag and drop into this um, effect controls also but as these are transitions so you need to drag and drop them onto like two clips uh, where two clip one clip is ending and second is starting so like this place it will change into a little bit of um, black colored arrow with a little bit of like a, a rectangle which has a diagonal and a line going through it so drag and drop into here okay insufficient media the transition if this comes up just press okay it can be caused by the like video you have added so let's go to the ending of this yeah so you see this is the transition which has been added so it, you can also see like a base uh, a very small and very like light faded line going through it going upwards so that is the transition uh, like tra uh, transition completion so let's click on this so when you click on the transition like the slide transition this uh, comes up so here you have like this this is the introductory this is the after effects and this between is our transition so you have these A and B clips which can be like mm, see how uh, this shows Caro XLP is now playing leave that so it shows like how the transition would be done like from A to B this is a start point for the starting would be like you can start from this then the transition would be a little bit different like it will just uh, in the starting of this it would come up to this and th it would not look realistic so uh, to make it look realistic let's and do it zero and this would be hundred so it can be also done like fifty percent but that's up to you like it sometimes look prettier also like it looks good but so you see this like when it comes into the middle it directly jumps to the back so we will be using like full hundred uh, uh, for this so we also have the duration um, this duration is dependent on the f frame rate you choose so in this video like I, I have chosen I guess 30 frames per second so if I increase to like um, 29 after 29 it would just turn up to one second so it's like oh yeah that's it so if you choose like 60 frames per second uh, video that has 60 frames per second and you change that so like 
then it would be like it would not go till 29 it would go to 59 and then go to 1 so that's a little bit division of the f uh, time like in frames uh, it all works so basically that is like if you want a smoother and a faster like if you want a faster transition then just do it like um a tra a 10 uh, do it like 10 frames it, this thing would turn out to be smaller and then you will go like it will go faster so it is a little bit lagging cause we have 10 frames per second if we do it very low like 3 frames per second it would do very fast so we have to balance that according to our like um according to our um videos so according to our clips so we have to balance that so that it does not lag and it uh, runs out smooth so after uh, like it is basically all based upon trial and error method you try it comes out smooth it's okay if it does not you try again so there's basically no like mm, there's no what do we call it yeah formula for it to calculate that what would look fast it's basically your experience that tells you which would look uh, uh, smoother and which would not so basically that's it for slide transition let's try and add some different transitions now let's delete this transition let's go to like page peel Mm, peel turn page peel which do we do page turn let's try and add page turn S so it shows insufficient data media this transition is only contained like that's due to happening due to my clips it would not happen in yours so now first of all you can see the transition like it would happen like this you can you can get an idea what would happen you can change the duration times you can change the alignment you have this show actual sources which would make uh, the actual sources come up instead of these a and b you have the reverse which would reverse the transition like uh, it was starting from this side it would go to this side so basically now you get to know like it has almost the same thing like you have this a and b over here start and end points alignment duration and these show actual uh, sources and reverse so this is basically uh, uh, for uh, all the things that are available for like all the video transitions this is like um, mostly uh, most of the basic uh, transitions contain these uh, this only like you have to choose the start and end points you have to choose the duration and you are ready to go you have the transition between your frames so you can see this looks pretty nice um, as compared to the earlier one so you have pretty different neat um, transitions uh, which would um, come to know by, uh, which you would come to know only after you try so go ahead after watching this video just go ahead open up Premiere Pro and just start practicing this so like uh, take up your two any of the two clips if you don't have any clip download it from YouTube or any other site so like get two clips start practicing so thanks for watching stay tuned in Technicia Studios and remember my words practice thanks